Greetings everyone, this is Donna Gilliland with Most Training and I have a quick PowerPoint version 2010 tip on how to compress media in your PowerPoint presentation which would make it possibly easier for you to email depending upon how how small we can get the file size down to. If you insert a lot of photos, images, and videos into your slideshows, this causes the file size to grow bigger and bigger and can get to such a size that you can't email it and you'll have to take some other route for sending the file to a receiver. Now I have inserted a, a media file in this slide because I want you to see how it looks before compression and how it looks after compression. And we'll get started. It's very easy, very quick. Let me just go ahead and run this for you real quick and let you see what it looks like right now before compression. This is a scene on wildlife. I love it. Now as you can see, clarity is good. Crisp and clear. And I think that's enough for you to see. And I'm going to close that out of play mode. Now let's go into compressing the video. You'll click the file tab which launches the backstage view in PowerPoint 2010. You'll be defaulted to the info option on the left. Then on the right you're looking at your options for this file. There will be a button if you have media in your slides. There will be a button for compress media and the only time that button's there is if you do indeed have media in your PowerPoint. You will be told here to the right how big the media files in this presentation are. Mine is at 25 megabyte. When you're ready to compress, click Compress Media and you will be presented with three choices. One is for presentation quality. If you choose that one, you're going to maintain a high level of quality in that video and you'll still save some space. It just not, might not be as much space as you need to save. If you choose internet quality, that's going to produce your media with a quality that is comparable to what you find online when you're looking at video while still saving space. But if you choose low quality, that one is going to reduce your file size the most, but you may lose some quality in the process. Now I will tell you that on this particular video that you watched, when I compress it down to low quality, that brilliance in the colors and the high definition is not there as much so anymore. So this is how you will do it. You will bring up that, that file, your PowerPoint file, head off to the File tab which launches the backstage view. You'll be at Info and you'll be ready to click the Compress Media and then choose the option that's desired. And once you choose an option, and it may take a, uh, a few minutes for it to compress, and after compression, when you do come back to this screen, this value which currently tells me I'm at 25 megabyte as far as the media file in this presentation goes, that value will have changed. And uh, mine, when I compress to low quality, reduces it down to 2.7 megabytes rather than 25. I hope you found this tip helpful. There will be more Microsoft Office productivity tips, social media, and cloud productivity tips coming your way. So I hope you'll subscribe to the Most Training YouTube channel and you can find us on Facebook as well as Twitter. So it's bye for now and have a great day.